how, I want to show you how I rig my bank spoons. First way is I use braid and fire line primarily, either 20 pound braid or 8 pound fire line. And I don't tie the fire line direct to the spoon because if you do that when you're spooning a lot of times the spoon will jump up and grab your line. Then you have to reel it all the way in and untangle it. If you on the upswing when you're spooning, if you hesitate just a second, it'll prevent that from happening. But I make smaller spooning motions than the guy that sells these and the guy that invented these. I think that's why my spoon jumps up and grabs my line more. Um, anyway, I just want freedom to spoon however I want to spoon. So I tie a stiff leader on there and I use heck, anywhere from 60, 40, 20 pound uh, leader, and I fish primarily in stained lakes, so it doesn't really matter. I'll go down to like 20 pound fluorocarbon when I'm in a clear uh, southern Missouri, northern Arkansas lake. But anyway, here's a rigging in a one of a one ounce spoon. It's a 40 pound leader, true leader material, not just normal fishing line for casting. And I'll do a shot of all these different leader types I've used, and basically every one of these I've tried has worked and I like it. But I'll put about 18 inches, I'll start with 18 inches a liter and then tie a back-to-back -back uni knot to my braid or to my fire line. And then, you know, that way you can change up a couple times and I'll use it all the way down to where it gets about six inches long and then I'll start over. The second way I do it, if I'm, even if that's not helping and the spoon's still jumping up and grabbing it, a, a way to do it even more is to if you take the swivel that comes with the spoon off of it, take that ring off too, and I'll, I'll put a close-up still at it. Take it totally off of the spoon and then tie your stiff leader material to the spoon. And again, I start out with about 18 inches and then I tie that swivel that comes with the binks back on there and then I'll tie my fire line and my braid to it. That way you don't have to do that back-to-back -back uni knot, which I don't know, it might be easier for most people. I struggle a little bit with it. Getting old and can't see as well anymore. Um, and I'll, I'll put a link to a video I used, the video that explained it best to me on how to tie that back-to-back -back uni knot. But anyway, the, the second way that I do it again is just 18 inches of real stiff leader, tie it to the swivel that comes with the big spoon, and then tie your braid to it. And I'll put some stills of all these in the video and you can see what kind I buy but basically it's just true saltwater leader don't just get regular fishing line it's not as stiff Let's see if I can show you how stiff this is here's 30 pounds right here I mean it's mega stiff if that was just normal like strand or Berkeley fishing line it drops straight down and that again that just keeps your spoon from flipping up grabbing the line as much but I'll put some pictures in here of these and then if you want to stick around, I got some clips of when I got out fishing yesterday and caught some white bass and largemouth on a spoon using these riggings. Thanks.